Oh, hey, like a junkie to his needle, I've returned for another dose of Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Uh, in the previous sessions, I it was pretty much established that I love this game. And I can definitely understand why Dr. Wolfila considers this movie one of the best films ever made. Yeah, it, I can see now with great clarity how you could consider this better than, uh, I don't know, Citizen Kane or The Godfather. I can understand. Uh, this room... Okay, well, let's see how far we are in the game. This is your... This is basically your save system. So, I have the Scooby-Doo profile, for example. And I have 44% complete, so we're half... We're almost halfway through the game. Hey, Scoop! Yeah! But you can change the profiles. If you've... If you've played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, then you know you can... You can, like, go into the options menu and change your profile and have, like, Sonic or Tails or Dr. Robotnik or whatever start saying stuff on the menus. It's cool. So it's kind of like that. So, yeah, it's a nice little thing. Get out of there. But we need to continue. But first, let's get all the clues in this room. Like, fire. Fireplace. See? Clue. Nice work, detective. All right. Uh, no, that's not a clue. That's a clue. All right, I think that's all the clues in this room. Yep. See? This happened in the movie. Nice. I love how I have a consistent 60 frames per second playing this game. You know, I can at least count on games made 11 years ago to be consistent. Did we see this already? I don't... No, yeah, we saw this already. Let's skip it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're in the mining town. Yeah, now nah, I remember this. Okay. Walk to courtyard. Not yet. Let's try to find all the clues. Ah, uh, no, nah, that's not a clue. The Look at sign. There's a clue. Wait, that could be a clue. No, that's not a clue. Uh, walk to... No. Um, uh, no more clues here, I think. Okay, let's go. Run! Just fucking run already. Come on. We don't have all day. It's like I'm playing Fallout 1. Okay. Look at Rusty Barrel. Yeah, okay. What? What fell out of there? Whatever. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to go there yet. Oh! I want to see that again. That's cool. Eh. Oh! Oh my god. That's another clue. Could there be another clue? Uh, no. Oh! Power lines. I already did that one. Okay, no more over there. I did that one. Uh, yeah. Alright! Look at loose board. Okay. Alright. I think, uh, that's pretty much it in this area, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep moving. Yeah, keep running. You might... Uh, it's weird. Okay. I really wish I was playing a humongous game now, but, you know, this is okay, too. I'm sure this game wasn't, like, friggin' $60 when it came out, and if it was, oh man. But probably not. Probably was 20 bucks. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, man. This does make me nostalgic for humongous games. You know, in my past life, I remember playing... Pajama Sam, and Putt Putt, and Spy Fox. Meanwhile, oh, we're gonna go back to the, the, the competent members of Mystery Inc. Gaseous state is the critical ingredient to make a monster. Doesn't random Man, look at Velma's shoulders. Randomonium is a byproduct of certain silver mines. Like the abandoned I'm surprised they didn't go with, like, oven mitt hands for the characters. You think, well, I mean, at least they made each individual digit. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Okay. Okay, I got it, Matthew. Oh, there's... Okay, I guess I missed. I guess if you missed, you... Okay. Okay, I got him. Die! You son of a bitch. No, I don't want... I don't... 
Yeah, this is pretty fun. Yeah, that's fun. Did you ever play the DVD extra games on the Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed thing? I did. If I still had that movie on DVD, I'd probably make a bonus video where I'd play it. Show it off. Great gameplay. Okay. You know, it's always great playing a DVD video game. I know Elf had a pretty bad menu game. Oh, we're speeding up. We're starting to speed up. I don't even know how we're moving. We're going this slow, but whatever. Oh, okay. Don't want to waste any am ammo. I don't know. Somebody's shooting at these guys. I... Oh, wait. No. Somebody's shooting at these guys. Oh, I... I've all, almost won, but maybe this is a round-based game like the other ones, which that would kind of suck. Oh, I gotta hit the guys in the windows, too? I I guess so. This is an FPS in the truest sense of the word. This, this, oh, I got a joke. This is truly an on-rails shooter. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Because uh, I'm a minecart and uh. You know, I'm shooting stuff. Oh, man. I I hate myself. Okay. I feel bad that it took me a while to come up with that joke, even. Oh, I really hope they remake the best scene. Oh my gosh, that face. I really hope they remake the best scene in the movie where Shaggy is transforming and it's weird fucking fetish. Meanwhile... Now let's see if we can find any more clues. All right. Like, we gotta get out of here, man. This is too scary. They should just hire me and fire Matthew Lillard because I'm so much better. <laughs> I wonder how people feel about Matthew Lillard. I think he's pretty okay. I mean, he's like he's he works better as a fucking younger Shaggy. That isn't doesn't sound like he's an old man, because towards the end of his life, Casey Kasem was really starting to sound old. His age was showing. What? Well, meanwhile, uh, fucking, what's his name? Uh, I can never fucking remember names, but the guy who plays Fred, you know, he still sounds pretty good as a teenage kid. I gotta stop talking. I gotta focus on the task at hand. I gotta find the clues. I gotta see the picture. I gotta get 100% completion. Uh. No, 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 don't go there. Don't open the refrigerator yet. We want 100% completion. Lab coat. Equip. That's the most boring clue ever. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. There it is. I don't think you'd need any of my help finding these clues if you ever played this game. Like, just click on random things. You'll f eventually find them. They're not really hidden. I don't know. It looks kind of photoshopped, but I... I mean, it, it's not like the effects were super great in these, this movie. I mean, these were at least better than the Cartoon Network Scooby-Doo live-action movies. Oh my gosh. I mean, I only saw the first one, and that first one, it was really, like, the dumbest thing about it was the fact that their first mystery actually involved real ghosts. That's just stupid. Their first mystery should involve a guy in a mask. Like, it sets the precedent that, oh, there are real ghosts out there and real monsters and stuff. Like, no, they, they should always be, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm complaining about a little kid movie. I, I, I'm, a, I'm the worst kind of person on the internet. Okay. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's Scooby. Okay, okay. Okay, the, it's got to match the... Okay, okay. So, blue and yellow. There we go. Two. Perfect. Oh. Oops, Scooby mutated again. Well, I mean, I did it right. Pink potion. Oh, that's easy. And this is his colored stuff. 
Oh yeah. I wonder if that's Rob Paulson. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, okay. This is like, um... I mean, I know this happened in the movie, but this reminds me of, you know, when, uh... Pajama Sam won, you could just bullshit around with the, uh... The potion minigame and just have Sam transform. That was... That was pretty fun. That was a nice time sink. Even though the game wasn't... And I think Batman Vengeance, the bat that Batman game also had something like that, but it was... You had to make the colors like Joker's suit. Oh, uh, whatever. You had to have played it. Alright. Hmm. Let's continue the mystery. Wait, Velma, you're here? You've been here this whole time? Wow, that's amazing. Let's watch this cutscene. Had a little drink of water. Don't tell Dr. Wolfie I have access to water. He'll take it away from me. Oh, I just missed a joke. It was probably funny. I'm sorry. We're a team. You don't just go off on your own doing whatever you want. Wait, did they just blow up the, like the wall or something? Uh, wow, they're. Oh, I guess maybe they didn't. Uh. You're all caught up. Wait. Costume from every villain we've ever. Wait, isn't this the end of the movie? Oh man. I don't know who's behind this. We're almost there. We're almost towards the final confrontation. Are those the controls back there? I I don't want to spoil the ending of the movie, but this game will. So if you haven't seen the movie and you're watching this and you're like this is this is that pretty much the plot of the movie so uh, i don't know why you'd care if you about spoilers of an 11 year old children's movie called scooby-doo 2 monsters unleashed but maybe you do just to warn you there's the skeleton men Frying pan and into the freaky skeleton dudes with eyeballs for heads. <laughs> All right. Well, come on. I suppose this is Matthew Lillard's first foray into voice acting, and you know it's okay. Like the voice acting isn't great in this, but I'm pretty sure it's just because the director, like the voice director, probably isn't that good. I mean, uh, I'm gonna need at least fifty. Okay. All right, let's get some, ooh, okay. Oh, this is like uh, in, uh, oh, I missed some. Okay, this is like uh, in uh, in Christmas Vacation, when he's like sliding, when Clark Griswold is sliding down the hill. That's a great Christmas movie, yeah. But this is a good movie too, so yeah. Oh yeah, and this happened in the movie, I, I totally forgot. They, this is an actual really faithful, oh, I can jump, okay, now I know. This is actually a faithful adaptation of the movie. Wow. A lot of the time they... These movie adaptations sort of go off the rails or whatever. You know, you're playing Spider-Man 2 and then Mysterio shows up at a convenience store and you're like, what's going on? And it's like not even a real boss fight. But that was a pretty fu funny boss fight at least, but whatever. Oh man, I was gonna... Oh yeah, and it's like... uh you know, in uh, Sonic Adventure, when you're ice cap zone and you're fucking, you're fucking going down the hill on the snowboard. That was also really fun for the time, man. Like playing it at the time in the fucking nineties, just absolutely stunning, breathtaking. But now, if you're playing it now, the game is probably not gonna impress you at all. Which is why people probably super hate it now. Like, not a lot of people had a gen- like, I'm not- I'm not a Genesis, a Dreamcast, so... They're, they're gonna play something like Sonic Adventure years later, and... They're like, oh, it's a super great game, and then... It doesn't reach their expectations, but whatever. I think it's- I think it's just fine. I mean, yeah, the multiple characters... Can be annoying. I mean, Sonic is the best character to play as, but, you know, there's- Just think of it as, like, a bonus. Honestly. Sure, the bonus might not be that great, but whatever. That'll be the first place the monsters will look for us. I think I know where to go. Nah, that's some more water. Wow, they're kind of reckless drivers. Mystery Inc. Clubhouse. Oh yeah, this is in the movie. Where they reminisce about their old days of when they were just teens breaking into mansions solving mysteries. 
gang is totally taking the hit for it. This mm. is the most our faultiest screw up ever, Scoob. I, I, I really do gotta appreciate, though, that they followed the plot of the movie. Now, you don't have to watch the movie. You can see it remade and with an N64 graphic style. the current, and therefore reverse the monster-making process. Honestly, this does look like a fan game. I don't know. Like, the, uh, the Spider-Man 2 game on PC also look like a fan, like, really bad fan game. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know why the PC version got so terrible. I mean, I guess maybe they were concerned about piracy, but, you know. Oh, drag and drop. Here we go. My idea of gameplay. Oh, Fred is interjecting. Oh, okay. Oh, is this a bomb test? Wait. I never... Okay, wait. Wait. Oh my god. I don't know how this minigame works. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, now I... Oh, it's like... Okay, I gotta get out of it. Okay, wait. A yellow tube? I really should have paid attention. Okay, I'm gonna go to help. I need to resemble it. Drag and drop each piece to its correct location. Use the test meter to see if things are... Oh, okay, I need... I got a test meter. Alright, where's the test... Oh! Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Wires. And I, I got it timed. Did this happen in the movie? I don't even... Get in there. Oh, I got it right. Okay. Wait. Okay. Chips. Right color. Okay. Right color, too. Wow, this one is a little more... Wait, are there tubes on this, too? Where do the tubes go? Oh, the red... Okay, these go on the other thing. Okay. So, chips. Okay. Two are the right color, one is in the right place. Okay. Test. Okay, so let's get rid of the red, put the white. Right color three, right place zero. Okay. That's simple enough. Right place one. Test it out. Oh, wait, right, right place zero. Seriously. Shit. There we go, okay. Right color, right place, right co Okay, we're doing good. We're gonna defuse this bomb, okay. I've never defused a bomb before. Wait, can I just have that there the whole time? No, I can't. It would kind of break, be game-breaking, I guess. Oh, I got lucky on that one, okay. Now we're just down to... Uh, things are looking up Millhouse. Okay, right color to... Okay, so I need to get rid of white, maybe? Right color to... Uh. Okay, right color to... Yeah, okay, right color, okay. Just keep doing it randomly. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. All right, red, white, and blue. Patriotic. Okay, let's keep moving. Man, I save people, I think. Wow, are you still sulking, Shaggy? Seriously. Shaggy is so emo in this movie. It's like Spider-Man 3 all over again. I really like that animation he just did. I really liked it when he was jittering. Oh, fuck, it's Cutler! Oh, fuck! Ah, he's not even glowing. Oh, man. He's supposed to glow! Oh, man! Wait. I mean, what is... I, uh, in the in the Scooby-Doo, like, the monsters are always seen as a threat. But what are they gonna do? Like... Are they gonna? Are they? Are they actually going to kill the kids? I've I've always wondered that. Well, if the monsters could actually reach the kids, would they? 
Would they actually kill them? Oh man. Okay. Rescue. Alright. Oh, okay, this seems simple enough. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, and I gotta avoid the pterodactyl too. Oh. Get in! Get. No, no! Don't kill me! What the? Get. Move! Move! Okay. That's like crazy taxi, actually. No! Oh! Fuck, no! Ah, oh, no! Okay. This is, uh. I'm gonna have to do a lot better. I gotta save some people. I know this didn't happen in the movie, but who cares? Who really cares? Who wants accuracy? Like, who wants to play the Lego game and have, like, a level where it's Princess Leia talking to Grand Moff Tarkin? Actually, that sounds pretty cool. I'd want that. Grand Ma Tarkin. Meh. If only he was named that. Get out of my fucking way, Pterodactyl! That Pterodactyl looks kind of lame, honestly, yeah. Uh, but who cares? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's whatever. It's like... It's actually kind of a mixture of Pac-Man and Crazy Taxi. You, uh, come on, move! Why? Fred, just keep moving! Yeah, it, it honestly is Crazy Taxi mixed with Pac-Man. Which is okay in my book. You know, it, these minigames are pretty good. Oh, fuck, no, I can't go that way. Ugh! There we go. So, you know, there was some kind of magic thing that was causing all the people, like, all the villains' costumes to come to life in the movie. Yeah. Ugh! Get out of my way, you mother fucker. Ugh. Okay, yeah, get in the car, you. Why is it my responsibility to save these people? I don't understand. Okay. Nah, there's a... I, I can tell... Wait. It's like they disappeared. Well, whatever. Get in. Yeah. Saving lives. Saving lives. How many people am I supposed to save? Ten. Wait, I know I'm supposed to... Oh, wait, one person remaining. Okay, they're somewhere around here. Is this just an infinite city and I'm... It's just sort of randomly generating or something? There's a person... Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, I know it's infinitely just... I can only save ten of you, so get in. Take that, pterodactyl. You flying jackass. Alright. I'm doing really good at this game. We're almost done, I know it. We've gotta be almost done. Alright, gang. This is it. Alright, this is... This is the testing ground for all of my Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleash skills. You'll go nowhere, Nave. Oh my god, that's really intimidating. Challenge me! Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, so it's like, uh, in, uh, you know, in the Elder Scrolls, where you, like, you know, you have, like, ah, get, fucking die. Hit him. Yeah. It's like Elder Scrolls, where you sort of, your stamina goes down, I guess. I don't know. Wait, did I, wait, did I just win? That was it? Okay, okay, no, we, I guess we keep going. You know, I did pretty well that first time, but it's probably gonna get harder and harder. Yeah, you fucking die. Yeah, right in his dick. Yeah, you... You put that dust in his fucking face. I'm sorry, I get really, uh... I get really, uh... Intense when I'm playing Scooby-Doo 2. I'm sorry. Bring it. He's dead. Alright. Three against... Zero. Beat that Black Knight. Wonder what it looks like when Fred gets hit, though. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Who cares? All right. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fail this one time. I want to see what happens to Fred. 
Let's see it. He gets impaled. Yeah. Whoa. He gets fucked up. Good thing he's wearing his helmet. Jeez. Um. I wanted to see some blood. All right. Let's kick this Black Knight's ass. Man. Uh. I like this. You just gotta hit it at the right time. I don't think the aiming matters. Wait, he he hit me? Oh no, he could actually beat me. All right, all right. okay, no messing around this time. I could have sworn I hit him. Ugh. My honor is at stake here. Yeah, hit him. Yeah, you motherfucker. It's getting really repetitive now. Am I, is it going to be over soon? How many times? I think maybe five. Uh, I'm bummed about that. Okay, okay. Bring it. Hit him. Yeah. I think I won. I think I won. Did I win? What did I win? Prospectors. That sign just says prospectors. I beat him. So what happens when a ghost dies? Does, does that mean it? Just disappears. Oh man. You and Scooby get the control panel the soul back to the just disappears. Us? You're faster than me. But, but yeah, like Velma's just. We wanted to be heroes like you. She's kind of a. Maybe you've been heroes all along. You're faster than me. Heroes. Heroes. I've said it a billion times before. Well, it's time for Shaggy and Scooby to finally prove themselves. Well, right, okay, so uh... We made it into the mine. When it comes to being a best pal, you've never screwed up. You've always been there for me. Oh, man, that's right. actually really touching. So uh, oh, The minor 49er. <laughs> minor 69er. Okay, come on, let's do this. Go oh, really? Scooby, you... You... You failure. You're a failure as a dog and a friend. There are times when a man needs to stand and fight. Like this is not one of them. <laughs> like run away, dude. Each okay. Of the mind has a door that can only be unlocked at a separate control panel. Okay, I'll do that. Lights on each panel to green. Each switch flips itself, and any switch next to it 